everybody. Today we're going to go ahead and demonstrate one of our brand new items. Now this is going to be a steam cabinet warmer. You can either use this with electric or gas. Electric it will run on 220. Gas you can either do natural or propane. So before we get started on more, let's go ahead and give you the overall dimensions of the cabinet so you have an idea. For the length, you're going to be looking at 26 inches. For the depth of this unit, you will be looking at 20, about 24 inches to the back of this uh, part of the cabinet, okay? So without that part, it's 20 inches, but with the part, it'll be 24 on the back. Overall height for the unit, you're going to be looking at 64 inches high. The unit does have wheels in the bottom, so you can move it, move it around. Now over here in the front, you can see the brand on the unit is going to be our own company brand, Cooler Depot. Sticker will be located right there. You also have two handles right here to open up the door and lock the door as well. So you can lock it and open it. Simply what you do, make sure you push it up just like that and it will open up the door. Inside, as you can see, we have our trays. You're going to have a total of 12 trays for this unit. You also have uh, your heating elements. Now you have separate uh, elements for electric and gas. So over here on your left hand side, this is your heating element for electric. This is your heating element for the gas. And then over here you have your water line. We'll, the, we'll go ahead and demonstrate the water line in a bit, but this is just gonna be for the water. This is a steam cabinet. Now inside dimensions for this cabinet, you're looking at about 16 inches of the depth, left to right, it's gonna be about two two feet, 24 inches. And now for the trays, go ahead and give you dimensions for the trays. Front to back, it's gonna be 16 inches. Left to right, you're gonna be looking at about two feet, 24 inches. And if you wanna know the depth of these, It'll be about two inches of the depth. So that's gonna be dimensions for the trays as well inside. Let's go ahead and show you the back of the unit. Simply to close these, all you gotta do is just push it down on both of the handles and it'll lock and close the door. Now over here on the back, you'll locate, uh, this is where the electric of the unit will be. You will need to uh, get your own plug. This is gonna be the negative and the positive for the function of the electric, or it is 220 as I mentioned before. Now this is where all the uh, smoke will come out of the cabinet. So it does have a little part right here where the smoke comes out. You also have your water line as I explained before. It's gonna be right here and you have another function right here for the vapor of the water in the unit. Okay, so over here on the bottom, you have a little adjuster right here for the fire. So you can adjust your fire. And on the bottom, if you take a look, that's gonna be your gas intake right there. So that's where you're gonna connect. You know, if you wanna use natural gas or propane, you connect it right there on the bottom. So that's pretty much a little bit about this unit. If you have any other questions or are interested in this cabinet, you can go on the website, coolerdepotusa.com. We'll update all the information for this unit on there, including the price. Uh, if you have any other questions, that's probably not on the website. Uh, we didn't cover in the video. You can also give us a call and we'll help you guys out with those questions. Thank you for watching.